Talk to me a little bit about what letter writing was like in the ancient world. It, we think of sitting down with a piece of paper and taking 15 minutes to, to jot out a letter to someone, which we don't even do that anymore very much. We send emails or text right. somebody. Um, but what was letter writing like in the ancient world, and how did that shape the, the function of the letters in the church at that time? It's so easy for us if we want to send a message to someone now just to email them or Facebook them or Twitter them now in all of these different ways. But letter writing back in the first century was very different. First of all, they didn't have a ream of 500 pages sitting on the shelf that was very inexpensive. A piece of papyrus, and that was the material that they used, was very expensive to purchase. And so you just don't have a lot of letters floating around because it's a very expensive process. Papyrus was similar to what we would think of as paper. It's from the reed of a plant and mashed out and made uh, a writing surface at that time. But that's not something that was just readily available that you went down to the Walmart in Jerusalem and picked up a ream, right? <laughs> it was available, but it was very expensive. And it was not as accessible to normal people as paper would be today. So receiving a letter in antiquity was a big deal. I get so many emails every day, as I'm sure you do too. There's times I wish I could just select them all and delete them because I get so many. But receiving a letter back then would have been a very, very big deal because it just didn't happen nearly as often as, as we see communication today. So when Paul was writing his letters, what, what else was involved in the process? You know, one of the differences, I think, is that it was probably a lot more of a thoughtful process. When you've got expensive writing material and you've got one chance to address a group of people that live a long ways away, and you want to share your heart with them and help them grow in their faith and help them with the issues they're facing, it's a lot more thoughtful and careful process that goes into it. So I think Paul, guided by the Spirit, was writing some things that were very on his heart and, and very, very important for them to hear. Sometimes I think we get on our, our computers and the emails and we just blast things in and sometimes there's not a lot of thought that goes behind them. So they contrast very sharply in that regard. And we also have an indication in Paul's letters that at times he uses secretaries to participate in the process of writing those letters. Yeah, there's a $10 word for that called an amanuensis. Yeah. And, and these uh, people were employed to, to actually do the writing. And I suppose it's debated to some degree to how much involvement they had in actually choosing wording and that sort of thing. But Paul would have gone over that with them. And then to send the letter wasn't just as simple as popping it in the mail, right? Uh, no FedEx, no UPS, and no U.S. Postal Service back then. Uh, so there was no real postal service like we know. So you had to know someone that was actually traveling to that area and then ask this person, would you carry this letter to these people? So we really have a community process taking place right. and uh, that it was much more involved than we think of letter writing being today. I believe a much more involved, right.